let's go ahead and download Power BI. Before we can use Power BI, the first thing we have to do is download it. And if you go to Microsoft's website, powerbi.microsoft.com, you come to this page and I'll leave this link down in the description. You can download Power BI for free. So all you have to do is go here and you can also open it up in the Microsoft store. And I'll tell you some of the advantages from opening it up in the Microsoft store is when you download it from here in the Microsoft store, what this does, it gives you the ability to get all of the Power BI desktop updates without you having to reinstall and download Power BI every time a new update comes out. So this is a, a sure way to have the latest and greatest updates in Power BI. You can download it this way. You have, as you can see here, I have done that. Or you can come here, here to see download or language options. This will give you the ability to download Microsoft Power BI desktop and pick the desired language that you speak if you have a particular reference that you want to do. Next, you can come down here to details and system requirements. This will basically let you know what version of Power BI you're going to be installing. It's also going to give you what you need to have, what kind of system setup that you that you need in order for you to download Microsoft Power BI. And there's also some instructions here with it. So once you do that, you can just click on download and this will take you through all the prompts of downloading Microsoft Power BI. Now you want to download the 64 bit if you have a 64 bit computer and this version right here is just a simple 32 bit. So feel free to download the one that matches your computer preferences. The way you can find that out is you can come here to start and you can go into your profile here and you can say, I want to change account settings, but you don't have to change anything. Next, you want to go to your system settings. Then you want to go to your about right here is where you can tell if your computer is 64 bit or 32 bit. So that is my system type right here. So I'll be downloading a 64 bit. If this was my first time downloading power BI, you can close this out. So the next steps is to basically download power BI. So you'll just go ahead and click here. You will get this prompt right here to let you know that it's installing the power BI desktop setup. Once this is finished, you can just open a file. So once you hit that, you will get this prompt to basically welcome you to Power BI and you can just hit next. If you've already installed Microsoft Power BI or Microsoft Power BI is already pre-installed in your system, these are the prompts that you will get. However, if this is your first time installing Power BI, you will see something that's basically says install. So for me, I'll just hit repair because that's basically the same thing. It's gonna prompt you to verify your publisher so i'm going to say yes once you do that it will start installing power bi once it's done it's going to just let you know that it has completed the installation you can just click finish once you've downloaded power bi you want to just go ahead and open it up so we're going to click on power bi desktop power bi desktop will open once power bi desktop opens for the first time you're going to be prompt uh, some things here that you can kind of get started with power bi we'll, we'll just close that for now the first thing you want to do when you open up power bi for the first time is you want to go to your options so we'll go to options and then we will go down to preview features and in your preview features is basically going to let you know that the version of power bi that you downloaded also comes with a lot of different new features and those features will be displayed here and you can either check those features off if you want to try some of those new features or you can uncheck those features if you're not interested and then you just hit OK. To have access to those features, you will need to close out Power BI, open it back up again. And once you do that, you'll be ready to rock and roll in Power BI.